Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. So a little a little weird recording time. I usually don't record this late at like 1.30 in the morning. But I'm sitting here, you know, watching some Netflix and trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm like bored as hell. Find a map of the Grand Staircase. Okay, so we're doing that. She's with me. Uh, I'm just sitting here to like trying to find something to watch on Netflix. I, I watched like all of Breaking Bad. And I kind of like wanted to rewatch some f uh, Family Guy and whatnot. But I was just like, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna record. I want to play something fun. Let's just have a relaxing record session, and we can just chill. Although it's not so. Oh god. Oh, that's what's. Although it's not so much. No, hold on. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna put my headset fully on. All right. I had my headset like over my freaking hoodie because it's kind of cold. But uh, yeah, it's got like a. Oh, that's. Just stay next to me. I don't know. I just got like a text from my whole family saying because I live in New York with my brother, so you know it's just me and my brother. Parents are not living with me, and we're the only two people who live here in New York. And like all over the news, you're talking about how Ebola and whatnot. So, oh, wow. So I just um, oh god. So I'm getting text messages saying, "Oh, do you hear about the Ebola scare in New York?" I'm like, "Oh shit, really?" Apparently, there's a doctor that came from West Africa. To, like he volunteered. You leave me no choice. He volunteered to work Let's at the uh, you know for at, like with Ebola patients. Way. And he flew in from the JFK airport, which is like 10 minutes from my house. And he lives in the city, which is where I go to school. And he takes <laughs> he takes the same trains that I take. Now, to me, it's kind of kind of scary because uh, I went to the same school. I don't know if you guys ever like if you remember all the way back then. It was like a couple years ago, like six maybe. I went to the high school that had that started the swine flu. Now you can look it up. I went to uh, St. Francis Prep in uh, Flushing, Queens, and I got the swine flu when I was a junior in high school. And ever since then, my immune system has been really, really bad. Like the swine, I had, I think I had the swine flu, swine flu for a good three weeks, three, three and a half weeks felt like shit for three and a half weeks. Even after then, like, the symptoms were still lingering. Like, he had a lingering cough and all that shit. You know, headaches. It was the worst. But, uh... Is there people here? Ever since then, like, my immune system has been really bad. I mean, I'm t I take vitamins every day and shit, too, but, you know, some people just have don't have good immune systems. That probably explains why I'm, like, all congested every freaking morning when I wake up. Anyways, ever since like before that, I, w I was relatively fine. I only got like, only got like, little cold here and there, but nothing serious. But ever since I got the swine flu, uh, you know, every year since then, I've been having like really bad sicknesses. I guess you could say. Like I would, I, I would get, pneumo I got pneumonia. Ooh, grand staircase map. Got pneumonia well, that one time. Then I got the flu again. Then I had like strep throat. Like I've never used to get those, and I just, like being alive for 18 years and not getting that. It's kind of weird, right? Like your, I guess your maybe your immune system gets weaker as the older you get, but like I'm still relatively young, so it's kind of weird. Anyways, we got the uh, Grand Staircase hollow tape. Let's let's listen to it first, or not? Oh, it's ripped. Wait, no, that's what? That's uh. That's Sierra Madre. What the fuck? Where would it be? I have no idea. It's not here. But yeah, having a bowl in New York is. I'm not saying it's not something you should, you know, be aware about. But for me personally, I need to be careful because I have a pretty bad immune system, and I love my life. <laughs> Anyways, it's not. It's not like a, you know, a topic to be laughing about. I'm just saying. I try to keep the I try to keep the topics light when I record, you know, none of that crazy shit like what's going on in Africa. I feel for those people because 
you know, ha not having health care, and I've been th I've been through that for a couple years. But finally, starting getting health care back, which is nice. But I mean, it must really suck. I mean, God, ha like having to. I always there's always I, I forget which movie it was, but I remember watching it when I was really young. And there was a quote that like one of the mothers said, like it's you shouldn't have to bury your children. I was like, I'm just not, every time I hear of like outbreaks of diseases going on in third world countries and kids being buried and shit, it just sounds horrible. Like we have it good in the United States. Well, most parts. Depending on where you live. Like we have we have health care and you can go to the hospital and you give birth at the hospital. You can go to doctors. Some doctors even make house calls. I had a doctor do a house call for me once. So it was pretty pretty badass. He's like, that's when I had that's when I had pneumonia because I couldn't really get off get up out of bed. And he's he's been my doctor since I was like since I was born. So it's a good thing that you have a doctor that cares as much about his pa patients as he does about his real job. You know. It's not always about the money, I guess. But this dude, in the middle of the day, he's like, "All right, I'm coming over. I'm gonna check on check on him just to make sure he's okay." Came by, gave him a prescription. I was, felt better the next day, man. Those are the kind of freaking ooh, morning glory cave. Those are the kind of people and doctors you should be surrounding yourself with. Anyways, enough about Ebola talk. It's kind of no, kind of stuff you gotta talk about man current events and shit I've got that from uh I've gotten that from my like my my film classes and texts are still coming in yeah family all, family all over the world man did he, he had to take the same train as me it sucks but hey all I gotta do is like when you, even when I don't take even when I take the train I don't like you know I don't rub my face after I <laughs> get off the freaking train shit. I'm just saying, but yeah, like ever since I started taking my major courses for my uh, my film my film major, I had my professor this semester. It was, it was interesting. Like we we went over how we get our news and. It's kind of weird me being being the oldest student there, because I switched majors like my what's my sophomore year. I was doing business first. Fucking hate business. If you're a business major, oh man, I have sympathy for you. I don't know how you can do it, but I couldn't. But he's like, how do you get your news? And a lot of people, my age and younger, they usually get their news from like Twitter and Facebook and f like word of mouth from friends and family. And he's like, you know what? That's pretty bad because you ha you're basically getting selective media because you don't you're not seeing you're only seeing what your family and friends see. You're not seeing you know big picture stuff like CNN and Fox News and all. That. I mean, they only cover like they, sometimes they exaggerate news stories, but you should figure out what's going on around you and whatnot. Anyway, I don't even know how we're talking about this. We're eight minutes in. And my game crashed. That's awesome. Thank you, Ebola. That's a bad joke. Too soon. I apologize. Alright. Control delete. Because Fallout New Vegas took control of my mouse and I can't. I couldn't find it. We'll, we'll, we're still going. Don't worry. Don't worry. You can hear the mini music. Anyways. Oh, you can't find the window. Oh, there it is. Sweet. I love OBS as, as a recording software. It's so good. I'm thinking of getting a, new, getting a new microphone because currently, and I've been using this headset for all my recordings, but it only records like the right side of my mouth because, you know, I'm wearing a headset. Uh, I want to get a, like, I want to get a Yeti, a blue, or a blue, a Yeti mic or a snowball because those capture, they, like the, just the, the audio itself it's so crisp you know I got to I got to use one the other day because ironically enough my one of my professors uses he has, he has like recording equipment and we had to like what is this crossroad camera do I have to go in here I gotta go there 
he uses he has a recording software because you know he's a he's a film teacher and whatnot. And he has a blue yeti and these. I don't know if they're the same thing. I think it's a blue yeti and the snow water or something. I don't know. But he had the blue yeti and I got to use it to, to record because we had to record like a a documentary and and radio like broadcast or a project and shit. I don't know. But like when I ripped the audio from the heart, like we had to save the audio to our USB disc. It sounded so good when I put it on my PC. I was like, wow. I mean, my headset itself costs, well, I don't want to say, but it's pretty expensive. But the Blue Yeti, for the price, like, it's only 200, like, not even 200, it's like 120 bucks. Excuse me, am I stuck in the ground? I'm stuck in the ground. Crap. That's what I get for glitching. Good. Oh, thank you. Like, it's only 120 bucks. It's pretty good. Like, if you are getting into, if you want to do some commentary and... Are you sleeping, standing up? Oh, I thought you were sleeping standing up. I was like, what the hell? If you are getting into doing commentary and whatnot, where the hell is this dude at? I'm not saying you have to spend 120 to get a good mic, but having a really good sounding microphone is a great way to increase your video quality production. Anyways, talk to Daniel. As I said before, this guy is not even like a tri- like he doesn't have- he doesn't wear the same things that the native people here wear. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Dude, I got that same beard. I checked on everything in the valley and I got you the map of the Grand Staircase. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the white legs, despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Whether you decide... Whether you decide whether the sorrow should fight or flee, your decision will set their destiny irrevo irrevocably... Oh, he removed the mining detonator. Irrevocably in motion. Uh, you will be unable to finish any remaining quests. I want to make a decision, so choose wisely. No going back. Wow, we already finished the DLC? Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, let's not finish this at the moment. Even our Lord had doubts. Think I don't. <sighs> God, making me choose, man. Uh, I want to get medicine so I can get that. Uh, see that. See people's health and stuff, but I kind of feel like that's useless. Survival seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna get barter up. Uh, I saw that suit. That suit I can wear. Explosives. Energy. In terms of how many hit points you'll replenish. You know what? Let's go balls deep on medicine. Fuck this. Well, let's get seventy-five. See what see what we can what we can take. There's a perk here that I wanted to get. I don't know if I I'm able to get it yet. Uh, it's like you, I don't know if you need. Do you need survival? We're gonna find it. Do, do, do. I read that. Do you could eat it? No meltdown. Walker and snake. Smash damage. Hit the deck. Ghastly scavenger. When you're sneak mode, you get an option to eat. Oh God, why? Why? That's fucking gross. Um, hold on the range. I might just, I might be able to get it now. I think I might have enough. I thought you need 90 medicine, though. Hold on, I just want to see something real quick. If this takes too long, I'll cut it out. But, it's here somewhere. I guess I can take it. I don't see it here. I thought you died. Let's see, alright. Shining armor, no for the night. Retention, hand loader, toughness, cowboy. I should get cowboy. Revolver's low ration. Living anatomy. Yeah, this is it. Living anatomy allows you to see the health and damage threshold of any target. It also gives you a five percent bonus to, do, to damage against humans and non-feral ghouls. Sick. Yeah, HP four twenty, damage threshold three. <laughs> Sick. 
I've always wanted that, but I've never got the chance to get it. So that chick left me? She's not here with me? Why you gotta leave, man? Alright, so, uh... We could te technically finish the DLC now. How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh. That's a little weird. I don't know what other DLCs to, like, what other quests there are. This DLC is tiny. Pine Creek Tunnel. I feel like there's stuff here. Alright, let's go back to Morning Glory. We're gonna, we're, we're, let's explore a little. Um, oh, she's still with me. It just, the fuck? They just spawned in? What the hell was that? They just spawned in in front of me. If there's no other locations, I guess we're gonna finish this. There's a location over here that we haven't discovered yet. Alright, let's go down. Wait, how did we even get up here? I guess I came from this direction. Okay. More geckos. It's a guy in front of me, apparently. I'll fight you if I must. Oh, he's stuck in the ground. Messy business. Messy. Messy business. Killing can get messy. What the hell was that? What the fucking hell was that, dude? Saw that shit? Oh god, don't freeze. Why is my game freezing? 65 health. It's probably overkill. That's probably why I one shot people. Yeah, let's punch some shit. Patriarch's Campgrounds. Is that why I don't remember this DLC? Because it was so small? It must have beaten it one day. I'm pretty sure this is not the whole DLC. There's no way. There's no way. No damage threshold, you're fucking done. Oh damn, I broke his head. Punch! I love that. That's awesome. I need help. I got you, lady. There has to be more to this DLC, right? There can't there can't it can't be this short. We do this is like episode four. There's no way. There's no way. Well, let's let's discover some of these locations. Uh, maybe Joshua might have some more quests for us. This is probably why, I, like, I, I don't want to judge this DLC just based on like how short it is. But I think this was one of the reasons why I didn't really like this DLC. It was the quests didn't really—they're so easy. Like Dead Bunnies at least made you figure out traps and shit. 15 health. Can I even hit this dude? What a shot. Gotcha, bro. Yeah, there's more there's more areas here. That we haven't really discovered. Thump, thump. Why is my game laggy? Every time I switch weapons it just lags its balls off. Court fork overlook. Like look at this. There's nothing here, it's just a freaking a sign that says scenic overlook. I've been there already, because I have the uh Shows on the compass. I haven't been this way though. I know there's a lot of caves in this in this DLC. Or this guy. The fuck? Is it is it oh my god. Oh shit, no, that's you. 
Where the hell did she go? Come back, bitch. I'm gonna punch you. Oh, don't fight him. Oh, I broke his shish kebab. God damn it. He had a fire axe. Do broken weapons even give you better? Like, give you. You're getting 19. Shish kebab. 24. That's not bad. It's decent. I think my melee and my. Yeah, my melee and one handed are, are unarmed or maxed. Pretty beastly, if I do say so myself. Oh, you fell off. Alright, so we're going to discover some of these areas. Um, for another nine minutes. And then after this, I'll go... I'll play off camera for a bit, see if I find anything. And if not, then we'll just finish the rest of the DLC. The Bend Bridge. I just wanted to saw something move. The hell? Oh, they're that far? Sharpshooter, baby. Hello. They're very sneaky. Although my perception's high enough so I can see them. Okay. Apparently I'm missing an area here. Is it the river? It's probably the river, right? I don't want to jump off and then... Daggers points. Is there, a, is there a tunnel here? No. Oh, it's just a creek. Bed bridge, rare station. Something else we missed here. Yeah, this DLC is really weird. Pretty weird, to be honest. Hmm. I'll look up if there's any quests after this, actually. There's a big... I mean, down there? I don't think so. I forgot I don't have infinite breath anymore. Something in there. It's a med kit. One stim pack and a knife. And a toolbox. Okay. So there's two other areas here. I'm sorry if the DLC is short. That means we can just go straight into my favorite DLC. Old World Blues. I love that DLC. Seriously, that DLC. Although, like, I will say the first video might be long. Because I remember playing through it the first time. And I was I was doing a recording on my older from my older channel, Two Skies Cave. And like the first video was like an hour and a half long because the NPCs talk so much. It's unreal. What's the cave here? Apparently. Let's go in. Is it this one? Yep, might as well explore. Like, I don't know if this game is trying to make you explore places, so you can, you know... I don't know. Like, it's more open worlds of giving you quests. What the hell? Acquires a key. Oh, it's a thing here. Alright. I've never seen this before. Maybe this was just what we have to do. Just explore. 
Alright, is there a one here? Dud removed, one here, one here. There's two here, no? This and this! Oh crap, I fucking broke it. I should've done. The, yeah. Damn it. There was two there, but I messed it up because I picked the inner one first. One here. One here. And one here. Ah, oh, I messed it up again. One here. Oh, entry denied. That I means there's one word left. Criminal. Criminals. Excuse me. Uh, can you disable the electric door? It's kind of weird that there's nobody here. Hello? Anyone home? How are these computers working? They're not connected to like an electric circuit, are they? It's so weird. Explosive crate. Cindiary grenade. Ooh, straight nice. Never seen that before. Cindiary grenade. There's always stuff in boxes. That's why I pull them down. And you toss them aside. Nothing there. Very easy. Force open. Frag grenade. Take a frag. I don't like dynamite too much. I don't know why. Reloading bench locker. What can you do at reloading bench? You can make ammo, right? How do you make how do you make ten millimeter? Case lead primer. Fuck it, might as well. I wish I like did a tutorial for that, because I don't understand them at all, and these are just notes. I'm sure they're interesting, but I don't feel like reading at this hour. No, added year 2083. Whoa. That's weird. Are they, do they have a connection or something? Survival cachet! Holy balls. That's why you explore, huh? There's a bobby pin in here that I want. Nothing in there. Scrap metal. It's hard to see. So that's why you explore, yes? Bobby pins and shit. So people used to live here? Campfire sack. Is this if you're a survivalist? Pork and beans! I'm guessing this is the way you would go if you don't have high enough. Uh, if you don't have high enough. hacking? Oh shit, that was you, lady. I have light step. Joke's on you. Alright, there's nothing really else here. I don't think. So we can bounce. So I'm sorry if this video is getting a little boring because we're just kind of like exploring stuff. I'll calm you with my soothing voice. This is Lazy FM. Coming to you live. On, well it's Friday morning, 1.38 a.m. What kind of music you guys like? We need, we need a caller. <laughs> Call in at 555-379-8622. That's my cell phone number. Yes, that's my real cell phone number. Just kidding. Yeah, man, y'all are always fighting. Alright, we'll go for another 10 minutes. 40 till 40 minutes. So if not, I'll look up some quests if I missed any enemies here. I want to find some Yagwai. That's just overkill. I don't like to linger in this Datura. This is location here. An enemy. No, oh, don't tell me it's up there. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a dead mother. That means there's a coyote cave around here or something. I remember that. She ran away after I shot her. I'm sorry. You want me to kill you in front of your children? Let's move on. I don't like to linger in this place. You leave me no choice. Oh, you want to go hand to hand, huh? So I get brain, bitch. Uppercut. Mmm, you earned a beautiful beatdown perk. Damn, that bitch ragdolled. <laughs> That's awesome. That's why I love punching shit in games. It's the greatest thing ever invented. So what's the uh, beatdown perk? I'm guessing it's more damage. Reduce the cost of unarmed. Is they're already cheap? Are you serious? Well, TCL. Right here. They're all, they are already cheap. And we can do it even more. Look at that walking through the sky. Sorry if you don't like hacking. I don't either. But a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Whee! The Irie. What is it, Dark Souls? How the hell would I even get up here? Just climb the summit, but I ain't no fool. Clipboards, gun case. Oh, a magnum. I don't want it though. I'd rather kill someone with a metal spoon. Got a ranger hat. First aid. They never really explained why like the rangers were stationed. I never like. There's no rangers here. It's a little weird. All right. There was locate. There was one location to the right over there. Where we came out of the cave, I think it's past the. It might be even. Might even be that right there. I can zoom in. Let's see, that, that right there. Because we went. There was a uh, a bridge that we didn't cross. What do we got here? Oh, it's another glitch enemy. A mole rat. The fuck? Where is he? I don't even know. I don't even know, bro. Do do do. I am Jesus. This can't be that. Oh, we went. No, let's go back to here. There might be a location here. I didn't see anything on my compass anymore. And my game crashed. God freaking damn it. Alright, I guess we'll end it here. I'll look up some quests. And uh, if there's anything left, I will figure it out. So I'll see you guys in the next port. Sorry for the game crashing so much. It's Bethesda. What are you going to do? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys then.